trying to set a bong to kill but bong to kill he drive for the right tunes them you know bit he drive for the right tunes them what one people we back with another update why hard ball tv to build it and people i just saw this video on instagram all right um i think it's dj stay famous i got it off his um instagram page and my his caption was who tried to set up bong to killer who did a bit but bong to killer drive for the right tunes them see no, in the starting of this video, yeah, I heard the sound. What or one of the sound that bong together, you know what I mean? Draw for, you know what I mean? I think it was like two or three of them. You know, bong together is over there thinking London or the UK right now, and he's doing his thing. You know what I mean? He's definitely doing his thing. He's out and about, um, you know, touring and doing shows. You know, it's a long time then see bong together. I think it was like 15, 16 years. They see Bong to kill over there in the UK, so you know he over there now. People that want to see, you know what I mean, the Grand Godzilla. But with this show right here, this event, when I see DJ Stay Famous post it up, I was like, for really though, how, how, who, yo, I try ramp with, no nah, man, I try ramp with, 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 with Grand Godzilla thing, man. I try ramp with Bong to kill thing, man. Cause I was watching the man, the one in front of Killer with the gyrating and winding up on stage. And I'm, you know, I'm seeing a bag of man on stage, and I'm like, what? You know what I mean? So, why? Anyway, if you're subscribers, you guys let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this. I'm going to play the video so y'all can get to see it for yourself. But let me know what y'all think about this. I think someone tried to set a bounty killer. Well, what is this? And you don't know killer thing already, you know what I mean? They're on the ramp when it comes to certain things, you know what I mean? At least from what I know, from my knowledge. But, you know. It is what it is. Anyway, you guys look, see for yourself. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. <laughs> Well, I know time the fussy, all them try to clown me Time me your feet, then why me so me Two feet, but them a feet, they gonna feel old me Well, we are the man, look like a boy, I'm a machine Who no man, that no one is a man of blame Swing it up, say that Pass you all up, give me no bag Pass me the sudden So the man start to match the trophy sound me me no business, I love no business, everybody dead, try to hold a piece of us. Ready to rock out for me, don't you say? Some boy be talking about my bad man and I'm bleach out them things that are weird man. Bad man them. Rock out, rock out. Well I can't believe a whole lot of man get so cool. Can't believe some of them are not done. Can't believe the little take of them get so cool. Rock out, rock out. Well, me can't believe some dear nigga here say you met Can't believe some type and come here Now believe some gun man and tell me what you feel So yeah, no, Vibes Cartel come in Trinidad Carnaval Friday And everybody affects with Vibes Cartel All you know, that that is the job All you know, that he's an entertainer All you know So they have this young man from Trinidad speaking out about A show that Vibes Cartel is book for as he said soca friday now i don't know if it's soca this friday friday coming so i guess it's a soca event right now he never said that he never said a date or nothing like that but we know vibes cartel got his concert soon forward street and um freedom street you know being this is his show but you know after that of course vibes cartel is going to be all over the place doing shows right and i guess trinidad is one of the places vibes cartel is going to be um so he's saying that a lot of people are upset at Mad Vibes Cartel. But what the gentleman is saying is that they should be mad at the promoter because he he promoted the show um, close to, you know, Carnival. You know what I mean? So it's not like Vibes Cartel put on his own show 
and try to rival, you know, like soca music or anything like that is the Trinidadian promoter who prom uh, promoted the show close to Carnival and Vibes Cartel is going to be performing um, at, at, at the event. You know what I mean? So I don't understand what you're saying. It make You know, you're actually making a lot of sense because why would you be mad at Vibes Cartel? I mean, he's an entertainer. Vibes Cartel get paid. You know, um, he get pays to perform. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it, I, I think, I know they have this thing when it comes to soca music and dance or, you know, reggae, whatever. You know what I mean? Um, but, I, yeah, I think he made a lot of sense. Like, why would you be mad at Vibes Cartel? It's not Vibes Cartel putting on the event. You know, he's booked for the event. So it's like, why would you be mad at Vibes Cartel? Why would you, why would you be mad at him? Versus you being mad at the promoter who promoting the show close, you know, to that date when it's Carnival. See? But um, I don't know. I guess the promoter is getting a lot of backlash for promoting the show close to Carnival. And this is why this gentleman came out in defense of the promoter saying, well, you know, even though you're blasting the promoter for promoting the show uh, so close to Carnival, you know, why is people bashing Vibes Cartel? You know what I mean? Vibes Cartel, I have nothing to do with that. You know, be the promoter. But at the end of the day, like he said, it's not the first or the last time this happened. And he gave an explanation to when Beyonce had performed at close to the same event, I think so. But with that said, listen to what the gentleman have to say. And let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section. So, yeah, no, Vibes Cartel come in Trinidad, Carnaval Friday. And everybody affects with Vibes Cartel. All you know that that is a job. All you know that he's an entertainer. All you know that is a promoter who hire he to come to Trinidad to perform. If he was not getting paid, he wasn't coming to Trinidad. Why it is you all aren't vexed to the promoter? Or better yet, why would a promoter feel that on Carnival Friday, he could show a dancehall show in the middle of carnival. Why? But beyond that, because a lot of persons saying um, that going and interfere with the carnival and that going and help destroy carnival. You all remember when the great Beyonce perform here during the carnival season? Well, I remember that. I think that was 2010, 2011, somewhere around there. Massive show. Massive, massive, massive show in the Queen's Park Savannah. If memory serves me right, Marshall opened that show. And carnival survived. I said, don't be vector vibes, cartel. Vector the promoter. So, people, you know, our client have his big butt show new rules next year. Soon, soon, forward. You know what I mean? But, man, whoever is in Atlanta, yes, people, trust and believe. You know what I mean? This is the place to be. You know what I mean? Um, rejuvenation. I think this one is called Rejuvenation. All right? And it's December 14. So, right after the holidays, you know what I mean? Um, you know? Right, right after, um, you know, Thanksgiving and all of that, you know what I mean? This is definitely, you know, going to be the place where you will need to be, you know what I mean? You know, when I can step in the place, nothing to know, but, and like I said, is you know, him having him own show, soon forward, next year, I think that's um April 17th, if I'm not mistaken, and right over there in London in the UK, so, you know, if you, if you're an Alkaline fan, a Vendetta fan, you know what I mean, make a date and don't be late, but... This one is definitely going to be, you know, the show that happens before the new rule or any event that I've known Alkaline is booked for right now. And like I said, Atlanta, December the 14th, that's where it's going to be popping. That's where the Vendetta Boss is going to be. And that's where you as a Vendetta fan, you know, probably would need to be. So just a quick update on that. For, you know, if you're a Vendetta fan, if you're an Alkaline supporter and you just never knew, Arba TV just giving you an update on that. All right. So with that said, I'll go stay blessed people. Check on you guys on a notification. Not notification. I'm out.